Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is a uh, perimeter and area on a coordinate plane, module 25.5 in our Integrated Math 1 class. Okay, so here's our, our question. How do we find a perimeter and area in the coordinate plane? Okay, so we're going to be using lots of distance formula and these formulas right here. Okay, so the areas of, of figures we're going to, um, uh, for a triangle, um, these are all familiar. So one half base times height. And then for a rectangle, it's just base times height, okay? And for a parallelogram, same thing, base times height. As long as you know the, the perpendicular segment, which is the height right there. Rhombus, um, uh, it's half the product of the diagonal. So this diagonal times this diagonal. Same for kites. So just remember to take half. Okay, trapezoids, we have to add the parallel sides and then times the height and then take half of that. Okay, so it's one half. B1 means base 1, which are the parallel sides, B1 plus B2 uh, times the height. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and, and find the area of this uh, this rectangle. Okay, this is a rectangle, and how do I know it's a rectangle? I can quickly do um, uh, rise over run. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 2, so the, the slope of uh, GD is 4 over 2, which is 2, and the slope of GF is going to be down 3 over 6, so negative 3 over 6, which is negative 1 half. Negative 1 half is the opposite reciprocal of 2 over 1, so perpendicular. So there's a bunch of right angles happening right there. Okay, so what we have to do is uh, <clears throat> use a distance formula. So what I'm going to do is use the distance formula for um, uh, these two segments and then these two segments, so then I can do base times height. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So so here's a DG, which is um, uh, this this segment right here. So here's DG. So I did um, uh, this X minus this X squared plus this Y minus this Y squared. That's what this stuff says. And then square root it. And for GF, okay, so get used to this, you guys. You're going to be doing this on your final coming up and, and from now on for the rest of your math classes. So this X minus this X says negative 4 minus 2 squared. And then 2 minus a minus 1. 2 minus a minus 1 is uh, 2 plus 1 squared. So, so when we add those together, we get those. And then when we square those, we should get those. And then we get uh, those lengths right there, okay? So remember, now in, in Integrated Math 2, we're going to simplify this, and we don't need to worry about that right now, and same with this. But now the, the area is this times this, so that's uh, what we're going to do right now, okay? So 45 times 2 is 90, so 45 times 20 is, is 900, so the square root of 900 is 30. So the area of that rectangle is uh, 30 square units, okay? All right, let's do another one here. So here we have a quad with these um, uh, vertices. So what uh, we're going to do is first plot them. So to the left, 4, down 2. To the left, 4, down 2. That'll be J. And then over 2, up 1. So over 2, up 1 is K. 3, 4. 3, 4 is L. And then negative 3, 1. So negative 3, 1. Now watch, it's going to make a nice looking parallelogram. So if we know the height, you guys, and the height would be any perpendicular segment from one of these vertices. So I'll do it from this one. Just go straight down so it makes a right angle. It's going to be right there. That's going to be um, uh, the, the height right there, okay? So um, I'll call that the height. And then what we need to do is, uh, one, it's not one half anymore, it's just base times height. So we need to find the length of this base right here and the length of this height using distance formula. So, so base times height, when we do that, uh, plug those ordered pairs in and, and uh, uh, what do we get? We get uh, the uh, square root of 45 times 5. So when we multiply those, we get uh, square root of 40, uh, 225. And that's a nice perfect square, so it's 15, so 15 square units. And don't forget the uh, the, uh, the square units parts, because that's what area answers are. Okay, so here we have a, <clears throat> a complex figure. So what we're going to do is divide this up into triangles and rectangles. So here I'm going to just draw a straight line over right there. And do you see the triangle on top? 
and then I'll do a straight line down right there. Okay, so I'll have a rectangle right here, a triangle on top, and a triangle over here. Let's see if you can see that, okay? So do, can you see that right there? Okay, so what I'm going to do is find the area of this top triangle by doing one half this base times height, and just count up the squares. And this triangle right here is going to be uh, one half this times this. And then this rectangle right here is just going to be base times height. So let's put them all together. And we're just going to add them together. Okay, when we do that, we get um, uh, we get those numbers. And, and when we add those together, I took that on top, we get uh, 36 square units. Okay, sometimes, you guys, we can do um, the surround and subtract idea. So if we do the surround and subtract idea, um, uh, notice um, uh, this big rectangle. I just surrounded it by this big rectangle right here. So, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So seven times nine is 63. So the whole blue rectangle is going to be 63 and then we take away that triangle, that triangle, that triangle, that triangle. Remember triangles are always one half base times height. Okay so here we go I just moved that up. Okay so 9 times 7 is uh, 63 and then over here we get uh, the area of, of uh, this guy is going to be one half the base times the height which is right here 2 times 6 over here, 5 times 5, that's this guy over here, so 5 squares, 5 squares. Down here, this is 4 by 4. Remember, triangles are always 1 half base times height, 1 half, uh, 3 times 3. So we'll, um, it's going to be the big guy minus all the small guys, okay? So so when we do that, we get about 32 square units. Okay, so um, finally, we have uh, the perimeter, okay? So they're going to give you a polygon. And we have the perimeter, so we have to use good old distance formula. So the distance formula is square root right here, parentheses squared plus parentheses squared, and the minuses go in the middle. And we take the x's and put them in one and put the y's in the other. You can't do an x and y, you got to keep the x's together. So for example, uh, these are all my x values. So negative 4, negative 1, 3, 4 and negative one and all the y's are all the second coordinates okay I forgot which one I did first so so um, uh, the perimeter is we gotta find uh, uh, the lengths of each side okay so a horizontal line is on top and that's easy all we gotta do is count the squares one two three four five okay that's why a b equals five okay so let's go ahead and, and uh, plug in BC. So the length of BC, that's not horizontal or vertical. So I did, um, uh, here's B right here. So I got uh, 4. Um, I did it the other way around. That's okay. I did 4 minus 3. That's what this says right here. Those are supposed to be the X's right there. I got these guys flipped around. And then 4 minus a minus 2 is going to be the the Y's, so that would be here. Okay, and and uh, uh, when you click that together, we get the square root of 37. Okay, which is a little bit more than 6, uh, because the square root of 36 is 6. Okay, all right, let's find uh, CD. So CD is, uh, we're going to do um, uh, this X right here. Okay, so this x minus this x squared, so that's what this says, 3 minus a minus 1 squared, negative, negative 2 minus a minus 4 squared, okay, so this is going to be 4 squared, or 16, and this is going to be negative 2 minus a minus 4 is negative uh, 2 plus 4, uh, which is 2 squared, so we get 16 plus uh, 2 squared, which is 4, 16 plus 4 is 20. Okay, so um, uh, let's find the perimeter. So square root of 20 is about 4.5, okay? All right, so DE, we do that, and we get about 5.8. And then EA, we get about 4.2. Okay, so the perimeter is going to be, uh, we add up all those lengths right there, and we get about 25, 25.6 units. Okay, guys, I, I hope that makes sense. And, and there's your assignment right there for, for my kiddos, okay? Let me get rid of that if I can. There we go. Oops, I can't. Okay, anyways, there's your assignment.
That's 27.5. There we go. Take care.